I travel around the world on a bicycle, alone. This thing you can see here will be my home for the next three years. This is my bedroom, kitchen, everything. I plan to cross five continents, visit 50 countries, and make 50,000 kilometers. I had quite a cozy life in Warsaw, and I decided to change to live in a tent at the side of the road in the places I see for the first time. Do you want to know why? This thought came to me after a quite reflective three months. I sat down, I finally found time to sit down and think back my life. And I must tell you that I tried to remember good things from it, but the last 15 years were rather empty. They looked like a huge fog. Some pictures were blurred, some faded. But the most tricky thing it is that uh, I remembered everything before that period. I remember every single yacht trip, every camping in the woods, every adventure I had. And uh, just like that, from one day to another, I decided to live this life again. The need of adventure was so strong and so deep in me that I had to do one thing. I just had to be successful in a modern way, you know. I had to stop chasing uh, money, climbing up this mountain, steep mountain with a golden top. And I had to start to do one thing. I had to start to chase my childhood dreams. You know, the, I'm not young, I'm 37 now. But uh, I must tell you that your age is in your head. The younger you think, the younger you are. The younger you are, the better you feel. The better you feel, the more things you can do. I needed to cross this fat red line of my comfort zone and started to live my life again. We live in a world of uh, money. From every side, you hear that uh, to be someone, you need to have something. And for a long time, I was uh, part of this, let's say, situation. I used to run from work to home, from home to work, and uh, actually I didn't have much time for nothing else. I was a good em employee. Let's say I was like a perfect hamster running in this funny wheel, I, I was spinning this wheel as fast as I could and as hard as I could, but from the today's point of view, I see that uh, actually I was just only spinning this wheel of fortune and someone else was winning, you know. And uh, unfortunately, we live in a world of trends. They tell you, buy more and more. And I was there was a time when I was a good buyer. But you cannot buy everything. What's the most important, the second most important thing in life? The first is always your family. The second is your satisfaction. And satisfaction, in my opinion, is a key to happiness because you cannot have happiness without gaining the satisfaction. And actually, of course, some of you may say that uh, you may buy satisfaction, but when you buy something, usually it ends up on a shelf among other both things, which after a short time are useless and forgotten. So you need to gain satisfaction to be really happy. And I must tell you that when you buy something, it can always be stolen from you. Your wallet can be stolen tomorrow. Your car can be stolen next week. The only thing that 
cannot be stolen from you are your memories. Those colorful postcards from all the places you've seen and all the people you meet, you've met on your way. Uh, but, let, but let's get to the trip. Uh, 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 uh. When, you are, when you are driving a car from one point to another, what do you remember? Oh, something you remember, right? You need to remember to get from one point to the other. But uh, when you sit next to the driver, or let's say uh, you're a backseat passenger, you hardly remember anything. And this is the reason why I decided to go for this trip on a bicycle. Actually, daily, I make as many kilometers as you can make in one hour with a car. It's a huge job to make 100 or 120 with all the stuff I have. But uh, I see everything. I remember everything. That's why, because such journey happens once in a lifetime. That's why I decided to go for it on a bicycle. I crossed Ukraine. I've been to Moldova. I've been to Romania so far. I've been to Bulgaria. Then through the Black Sea, I went to Georgia. I've seen Azerbaijan. I've seen Kazakhstan. I was for a while in Kyrgyzstan. And I must tell you that this road wasn't easy, especially in the beginning. But uh, life is a game of choices. And I may ensure you that the harder choices you make, the harder consequences you need to face. The key thing when you travel, the key thing with consequences when you travel is that after a short time, when the road is not good, you are a master of improvisation. You can do anything out of nothing in the middle of nowhere. And you must do it because you need to get somewhere, you know? Not every place on the road is safe to put a tent and stay there. Ukrainian roads killed my equipment several times. I started this journey with a trailer. I get rid of it. It was the worst idea of my uh, uh, life to get it. Uh, in Bulgaria, I had a huge problem to get on a cargo ship, but when I made it, I was surprised because there was a pool on a cargo ship. In Georgia, the night meeting in the mountains with a bear almost has finished this trip, but I guess this is my definition of love, you know? When you love something, you need to be ready to die for it. And then the love is real. Until the moment you are ready for it, it's just, let's say, a fairy tale. Now I'm here with you in beautiful India, the land of uh, the most magnificent cats on our planet, Bengal tigers, and the most beautiful snakes of all, King Cobra. And I must tell you that initial plan was very different. I had this big dream to get through Himalaya Highway to the beautiful city of Lhasa. But you know, in present world, sometimes things which are possible today, tomorrow are impossible. And I had to review the route on the fly, actually. And the first place which came to my mind was going to Dharamshala to find a little Lhasa in here, the famous Dalai Lama's place. And I must tell you that I still hope to leave this place with Dalai Lama's autograph in one of my favorite books, which is Seven Years in Tibet. Place in which we are now. Many people come to this place to look for the way in life. Actually, you all are witnesses of my new way, new life although I made only 9,000 kilometers so far out of 50. But I still wonder how many lives we may have, you know? Maybe nine, like cats. I must tell you that I need just one more, because 
I have one more big plan. I would like to stand on the top of the world on my 40th birthday. I would like to conquer Mount Everest, and I hope it will be done. We live in a world, I hope it will be done, but I'm not sure of it, you know, because we live in a world which is uncertain. And our life is also uncertain. I cannot tell you what, what's going to be tomorrow or day after tomorrow during the journey or next month. Uh, but it's the most beautiful thing in life that you cannot be sure actually of anything. But even in an uncertain world, there is one thing which can make you free, really free. You need to travel a lot. You need to travel and collect those memories, those postcards in your head from as many places as you can. Remember as many people as you can on your way. Because this is the real, let's say, soul of the art of traveling. I came here, I met many beautiful people here, many good people. I stayed with friends at the side of the mountain with a beautiful view. But it's time to leave soon. And I would like to encourage you to collect as many memories from your life as you can. You don't need to be a hamster. Some of you maybe are, but this is not the only way. Thank you very much.